hi and welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to control the direction the speed and the steps of a stepper motor using an stm32 microcontroller my name is ali and you are watching cghq the 28BYJ48 stepper motor usually comes with a ULN203 APG IC motor driver. This driver is used because the microcontroller pins cannot provide enough current to drive the motor without the risk of the microcontroller getting fried. The motor has four faces A, B, C and D and there are three main ways of driving it as shown on this slide. In the wave drive mode only one face is energized and the motor takes 2048 steps to complete one revolution. This mode has low torque and efficiency but it saves power. In the half drive mode one or two phases are being energized in an alternating fashion and the motor takes 1496 steps to complete one revolution. This mode provides a smoother motion and a balanced torque. And then lastly, in the full drive mode, two phases are always being energized at the same time and the motor takes 2048 steps to complete one revolution. This mode provides a higher torque. For this video, we're going to be using the half drive mode. To start coding, open up STM32 Cube IDE and click on create a new STM32 project. Then go to board selector and select the microcontroller that you have. Click on the microcontroller, click on next. For the project name, you can just call it Stepper and then click on finish. When you're on this page, go to clock configuration and set the clock speed of your microcontroller to the maximum clock speed. Since I'm using the STM32 L432KC, my maximum clock speed is going to be 80. So I'm going to type in 80 here and then confirm that the APB2 timer clock is also at 80 megahertz and then go back to pin out and configuration. Then go to system core, under system, put the debug in serial wire and then go to RCC. Make sure that the high speed clock has been enabled and make sure that here it says uh, crystal or ceramic resonator and then go to timers and then select timer one and then for the clock source we're going to use the internal clock and then for the clock configuration settings we need to set the prescaler value and the counter period value we're going to use a prescaler value of 80 but we need to type it as 80 minus one because we start counting from zero the counter period value we're going to leave it as the default 16 bit value the reason we are putting 80 as the prescaler value is because our microcontroller is running at the frequency of 80 megahertz so 80 megahertz divided by 80 is going to give us one megahertz we need to set up a one microsecond delay in the code when we take the reciprocal of one megahertz to convert it to seconds we get one microsecond so if you're using a different microcontroller like the blue pill and your frequency is set to 72 megahertz you would need to put in a prescaler value of 72 minus 1. The motor comes with four pins labeled as IN1 all the way to IN4. These pins are connected to the microcontroller pins A1, A2, A3 and A4. So we're going to initialize PA1 as GPIO output, PA3 as GPIO output, PA4 as GPIO output as well as PA5 as GPIO output. And then we can click on Ctrl and S to save the code and then switch to the new perspective. When you get to the main C file, to make coding easier, I have attached a GitHub link with the example code for this video. So simply click on the link and it will take you to the CGHQ GitHub link. Here it says user code begin zero. You need to start copying from this section and go all the way down to where it says user code end zero. And then go back to the IDE and then paste that code we just copied here in between where it says user code begin zero and user code end zero. And then when that is done, we can just briefly go over what the code is doing. So the first thing that we have is setting up the microcontroller pins, the pins we just initialized, which is pins A1, A2, A3, and A4, labeled as pin PA1, PA3, PA4, and PA5. The next thing in the code here is basically setting up the step sequence for the half drive control of the motor. So this table here is the same as the one that I had on the slide. Then when you scroll down, this is where we set up the microsecond delay using timer one that is running at one megahertz. And then here, we're basically just setting up the GPIO pins according to the step sequence. And then here, this is a function that will help us control our motor either in the clockwise direction or in the counterclockwise direction. And then we need to go back to the GitHub link and then come here where it says user code begin to and copy this code. Go back to the IDE, scroll down and then paste it here where it says user code begin to. This one is really simple. It's just the function that we use to start the time. Then go back to the GitHub link for the last time and then copy this code here that's under user code begin three. 
go back to the ade and then inside of the main while loop under user code begin three you need to paste that code so basically what's happening here is that for us to control our motor we basically just call this function call step motor and then this function has three arguments the first argument is the number of steps you would like your stepper motor to take so if you put in a value of 1496 that's the steps that are required for one full revolution and then this next argument this is the delay in between the steps so this is the delay that we use to control the speed so if you put in a smaller value it means the delay in between the steps would be small which means your motor would be going a bit faster and then you can play around with this value to set the speed of your stepper motor to the speed that you would like and then the last argument here is for the direction so if you put one here it's go, your motor is going to rotate in the clockwise direction and then if you put negative one it's going to go in the counterclockwise direction and then this is just the delay in between these two motions so if we upload the code it means we should expect our motor to do one full revolution clockwise and then stop for two seconds and then do a half revolution anti-clockwise and then stop for two seconds and then repeat the process then when you are done with the code you just need to click the green play button to upload the code to the microcontroller and then click on ok and when the code has been uploaded we can see our stepper motor doing one full revolution clockwise and then stopping for two seconds and then doing a half revolution anti-clockwise and then stopping for two seconds and then repeating the process again thank you so much for watching the video if you have any questions or feedback please let me know in the comment section below and if you'd like to help the channel grow there's a donations link that i have attached in the description section of this video thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe for more tech and electronics content